My name is Gary Levitt and uh, I'm the CEO of Mad Mimi. Mad Mimi is an email marketing service that allows people to create branded and well-designed um, HTML emails. Um, you don't need to be a programmer, you don't need to be a designer. Um, you can use Mad Mimi and in 10 minutes you can have your promotion ready to go. Mad Mimi was really a, a marketing product for musicians. Um, Mimi itself stands for Music Industry Marketing Interface. I wanted to build Mad Mimi to be simpler, to be easier, to be lovelier than um, what I'd found when I was looking and uh, that's, what Mad, that's what makes Mad Mimi different. Uh, I think what Rails did for Mad Mimi that no other development platform could have done is really it triggered a change in our mindset. Um, it allowed us to build with economy and simplicity and beauty um, really at the forefront of our minds um, every day. Using Rails allowed me to kind of have like a map always showing me the appropriate way to build our features and the appropriate way to structure our navigation. Um, it was all about a vibe, a vibe of simplicity and economy. And I think that um, no other developer platform has that aesthetic. And I think nowadays with uh, such a saturation of um, web apps and software in general, obviously, um, yumminess and, and loveliness is really the way to enter a crowded marketplace and uh, to triumph over the enterprisey uh, competitors that, uh, that already exist. Uh, you've got little buttons that generate your little components and you generate those components, you, you plug in your content, you know, very draggy and droppy. And um, what this does is it, it does make the process fun for people who don't feel like sitting down and having the headache of coding an HTML email or building a newsletter using one of the more dry um, systems like Constant Contact or PHP List. And I think that it, it gives a user a lot of satisfaction to have that performance reliability. Um, we found that Rails is able to handle um, our intensive traffic. Uh, some of the, the, the biggest users on Mad Mimi right now are um, North, Northwestern University, uh, Glance Networks, and we are seeing a lot of the iPhone shops using Mad Mimi. It's probably because it, with Mad Mimi they're uh, able to relate to the interface. They're seeing a lot of similarity between Mad Mimi's uh, UI and uh, the stuff that they're developing. There are 2,400 uh, active accounts on Mad Mimi, and we see about 400 people using the site a day uh, to create their emails. And uh, those range between people who are sending 100 uh, emails to their audience and people who are sending um, 200,000 um, emails to their audience. Mad Mimi sends out about 6 million emails a month right now. Uh, last month we were sending 3 million, the month before that we were sending 200,000 and the month when we launched we were probably sending out 10,000. So soon after our launch into production uh, I started getting a bit concerned that we might have to start looking for a commercial uh, mail transfer agent to start handling um, throttling and uh, some ISPs were bulking a little bit receiving uh, email from our infrastructure. So Dave uh, calls me up one morning and he says I've got it and by noon, Dave had, had been able, 100% in Rails, um, to set up the infrastructural um, requirements that, that were needed for us to not have to go with a um, tens of thousands of dollar uh, MTA that, um, that we would have to uh, install in our app. We did it all with Rails and all in the morning. Mad Mimi's team consists of about uh, three core people and uh, sometimes goes up to about seven people. The reason why we're able to breathe, go up and down, is we work with a, a development company on Mad Mimi. We don't have anyone on our payroll. Um, typically, costs are higher this way. We found that Rails does make up the difference because we're able to save on the, the efficiency and the speed um, of the code and therefore we're, we're really happy with the, the productivity that, that we're seeing with Rails. Rails is, a, is, is reputed to be fast to deployment, fast to production. Um, that's all true. It's also easy to deploy and easy to 
get things to production. Um, there's no stages of prototyping. There's no crazy environments that you're going from this environment to that environment to that environment to staging to production. Um, it's, it's kind of like it's got a bit of a cowboy vibe to it, I think, at least as far as we're concerned. What I really appreciate about Rails is uh, it gives me the opportunity as the client or the customer um, to, to take control of my own application. It helps me to make changes and shuffle things around and make, make little make adjustments um, and deploy them myself. Rails clearly opened the doorway for me, the customer, to be able to play a hands-on role um, in their application's development and uh, it allowed me, the customer, to infuse my vision directly on the code base, um, not knowing anything about code. And for that reason, um, Mad Mimi is a better product, it's a more vibrant and alive product and uh, I'm very thankful that uh, I had the opportunity and uh, the insight to choose Rails to build Mad Mimi.